The Luigi Franchi line of combat shotguns grew even further out of the inception of the Spaz-12, and with it came three more full-size pump-only shotguns, the first of which is the SAS-12. The SAS, which stands for Slide Action Shotgun, was the pump shotgun in the combat shotgun trio intended for mass importation to the United States, along with the Law-12 and Spaz-12. Much like the Law-12, it features a 21-inch barrel with proprietary threading, a single bead sight, and an available 9-round capacity with its largest magazine extension. With a considerable weight savings from the law, the SAS rings in at a respectable 7 pounds 2 ounces, bringing its weight right in line with competitors like the Remington 870 Police and Mossberg 590A1. The PA-7 is an interesting gun in that it was never imported in any major numbers to the United States. In fact, only four were ever imported by Vanelli in the mid-90s for their salesmen to shop around to law enforcement agencies, which apparently didn't pan out. The PA-7 holds 7 plus 1 rounds and is the lightest of the lineup at a shocking 6 pounds 3 ounces, almost a full pound lighter than the SAS, which it accomplishes by equipping a lightweight hollow wooden stock, a shorter 18 and a half inch barrel, a polymer magazine extension, and even a polymer trigger plate. The PA-8 is another of the Franke line that never saw any real numbers of importation into the United States. Actually, we don't even know how this one got here. Of the few we know about so far, one came in with an 18 and a half inch barrel and this unique version of the folding stock and is called a PA-8I. The other had a 24 inch barrel and a wood fixed stock and was called a PA-8E. The PA-8 weighs in at 6 pounds 9 ounces and is capable of holding a total of 7 plus 1 rounds. It's interesting the PA-8 didn't have more interest in the U.S. as its feature set seems to directly coincide with law enforcement agencies requesting shotguns with metal trigger guards, shorter barrels, and folding stocks for easier storage. All three of these shotguns have quite a bit in common as far as features, the first and most notable of which is that they all have 3 inch chambers in contrast to the Spaz and Law which are only 2 and 3 quarter inch, giving you the benefit of being able to fire a more diverse selection of rounds. The rub here is while Franke used the same receivers across the firearms, the ejectors and the barrels of the pump guns were moved back slightly to accommodate the larger shells, which makes sense, however the ejection port wasn't enlarged. This narrow amount of ejection room leaves all the pump guns needing a little more force to clear the spent hulls than you might be used to. The next interesting part is that they weren't really built from the ground up to be pump shotguns. What's neat to uncover is how they sort of tricked the existing SPAS action into functioning in pump-only mode. First and foremost, the bolt release is gone, as is the necessity to hold in a bolt release button to open the lifter like on the SPAS and LAW. The pump action achieves this by using a modified version of the SPAS and LAW carrier latch. The area on the carrier latch responsible for holding the bolt open was not needed and removed, and additionally a graded ramp was added to the bottom of the latch. This ramp interfaces with a lifter which has a bladed edge ground onto the side. Put those two together and you've removed the bolt release button from the equation. Aside from the bolt release, another thing missing from the pump guns is the magazine cutoff, so to switch rounds on the fly, you'll have to load the round and eject the current one similar to any other common pump shotgun. Many are familiar with the appearance of the Spaz in Hollywood, but the pump guns have enjoyed a little silver screen time as well. A PA-8 with a folding stock was found in movies like Exit Wounds and Dawn of the Dead, while the new Point Break remake appears to have a PA-7 with a lever safety. All three have their own interesting shooting style. The SAS has a large capacity, the PA-7 is very light, and the PA-8 is kind of a well-rounded blend between the two. But all are great shooters and fit well within the Franke lineup of combat shotguns.